Well, that's the for one welcome to Cracker Season Three, Episode Thirty-Seven, I think. Finally, finally, my video has uploaded onto YouTube. Uh, for the past like week, I've been trying to upload um, one of my videos, and either wouldn't upload, or would upload, and you couldn't, no one could watch it, or uh, you know, one thing after the other. And then uh, two days ago, I was trying, and it kept coming up. That it's going to take you know three hours to upload for some reason and it basically did uh i canceled it after like an hour and a half I'm like this is ridiculous so i canceled it got it out of there tried again an hour later same problem and now finally i think it's actually on youtube at least one of them uh, i think it was like number 34 or something like that let me take a look uh it was yeah 34 so hopefully uh people can enjoy that because I got the other ones I gotta try to upload. I don't know why they're taking forever to upload or why they're having such problems. But what can I tell you? Um, in the other, well, the episode's up now. Uh, I was talking about, you know, comic books, stuff like that, obviously. Da -da -da. But I'm gonna leave that for you to watch the other episodes because it's kind of stupid to go into everything. But um, one thing I did get, which this does follow, obviously, episode 36. Uh, I got uh, the Flashpoint Paradox on Blu-ray. Very, very cool. I actually got the, the what is this one, the special edition one, the combo pack, Blu-ray, DVD, Ultraviolet, that came with a little uh, Professor Zoom figure, which I got the, uh, the Just League Doom episode came with a Flash figure, so it's kind of cool. So I'm going to put them side by side. But this was a pretty cool movie. I actually liked it a lot. It was... Uh, very interesting and, and very brutal uh, towards the end. It was, it was pretty messed up. I'm not going to give anything away, so don't worry about it. But uh, it's definitely worth uh, taking a look at, if not buying. I think buying is definitely the best way to go because you can watch whatever you want. Um, but it was really, really, really good. Especially uh, Thomas Wayne's Batman. That was pretty cool. And uh, just stuff in general. Like Towards the end, you're like, oh my god, that's awesome. But brutal. Very brutal. Uh, another thing that I'm very happy uh, that I'm actually going to get a chance to go to. Because uh, it's probably going to be like the first one I've ever gone to. Um, well, I'll explain that in a second. Uh, <laughs> when I was a kid, the first convention I basically went to, it wasn't really a convention, uh, I mentioned it before, it was like a comic book show. And uh, it was across the street from Nassau Coliseum in Long Island. Uh, I was in a hotel. And basically, you know, there was no celebrities. I don't think Lou Frigno was supposed to be there, but he, he never made it or whatever it was, like, this, like I said, when I was a kid, like eight or nine, give or take, and uh, I've shown it before. It's where I got my limited edition uh, Wolverine number one. You know, it was from his limited series. I mean, uh, my father got that for me, and I got a Venom uh, card. And uh, it was the first actual comic show I ever went to. But now the cool thing is, I went to the comic book store on Wednesday. I went to check out another one because uh, the one I went to, which you'll see in the previous episodes of this hopefully you'll be able to watch them uh what i got uh but i checked out two comic book stores the one i i went to when i was down here the last time was capital comics which is pretty cool it's a nice little i would say some of it's high price but not i think they lowered some of the prices because i went there again and uh it was it was different they a lot of the stuff was lowered so maybe they figured hey <laughs> maybe it was on sale i don't know but i also checked out this place uh that i mentioned called foundation's edge which was little high priced uh but a lot bigger than it than it it looked from the outside and I, i'm pretty sure i might have mentioned this in the other episode i don't even know i'm gonna watch it <laughs> should watch my own stuff but um i'm gonna actually get a chance to go to this which as you can see it's a it's a raleigh comic book show sunday august 25th 10 a.m to 4 p.m free admission nice uh the holiday inn crabtree uh glenwood avenue raleigh north carolina um checklist things on, on conventionscene.com interesting but very cool so this is going to be kind of like the first show I've ever gone to uh, well now it'd be the second show I've ever gone to because when I was a kid but same premise uh, I told my fiance I had to go into it I was like you know we should you know go and she's kind of I see her point because I, I and so then again she sees my point so it's kind of it's weird it's like a, the frogs are going to come out of the sky that we're both kind of agreeing and disagreeing at the same time, but on each other's side, if that makes any sense. Um, right now, my fans and I, we don't have jobs. We're still looking. Uh, everything I've, I've tried is uh, turning me down left and right. 
uh, it's all try back later and, and it sucks because everything now is online you can't just walk into a store and say hey can I fill an application you know and then put it in you know you, you know what's in there you know chances are somebody might have read it now everything is online you don't know who the hell's getting your you know your resume or, or, or whatever it is and then if they really do like you they give you an interview on the phone now which is kind of ridiculous but you know what can I tell you which I'm getting a little worried because my fiance's mom has been here since was it May? Yeah, May, May something, and she still hasn't found a job. And uh, now it's August, and now we've been here uh, since the middle of July, and we're still looking. And everyone's like, oh, hang in there, hang in there. Which is me, I'm kind of like, I'm worried, but I'm not worried because I'm just kind of like, hey, you know, something will happen. You know, usually towards the holidays, they hire you, and then if you do well enough, they'll keep you around, which is what I'm hoping for. But it sucks because if that's true. Our plans are kind of shot because they usually hire in like October, November, and we're trying to get a house and whole big disaster, which I've just talked about before. But anyway, on to what the show point that I said, like my fiance and I are agreeing, disagreeing. She's crazy because she's like, oh, we're never going to get a job now, we're never going to get a job. Oh my God, I'm going to. But then she's like, ah, you know, I'll get one. Early. But we're trying, we're trying. But now, on to the show. Um, she's like, you know, we can't afford to go to this thing. I, I told her, I was like, it's free admission. I was like, you know, it doesn't charge you to go in there. You can look around. Um, and of course she turns out, she's like, well, we, I know you and, and you're not going to just look around. You want to get something. And I said to her, I said, uh, only, I would only ask to spend money if it's worth it. If it's really a good deal on something I find like an old comic, like an old amazing Spider-Man or something like that for a really good deal. That's when I told her, I was like, then it, it's worth it to spend the money because, you know, I'm not trying to con her. I'm not trying to kiss ass or anything. I'm just saying like, it, it's good to spend the money if it's a good deal as an investment, I guess, in a way. Granted, it helps my cause, because if it was, say, an Amazing Spider-Man, like, say, the first Green Goblin, you know, say I pick it up for 200 bucks, something like that, and it's in great shape, it's cool because it, it again, helps my Amazing Spider-Man collection, but then it also turns around later on. You can actually have it as an investment if you want, you know. Uh, I keep telling her, which is true, it's not a lie, that um, my comics more than likely are probably going to go to my kids, uh, you know, if we have kids, I guess we've got to see how that goes. And, um, well, our kids, my kids, um, our kids. And, uh, you know, let them do what they're going to do with them. Hopefully they'll appreciate them as much as I have. Because uh, I'm always stuck on the story from my grandfather and my father. You know, if I had half the stuff, you know, that I had when I was a kid, I'd be a millionaire and, you know, stuff like that. Which isn't the reason I collect comics. I've said that a dozen times. I'm not trying to do it to become a millionaire. I'm doing it because I really love collecting comics. I love the comics themselves. Um, and it's like a passion for it, you know, especially for Spider-Man. I'm going crazy trying to get Spider-Man. They're honking at me. No. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, and I mentioned a couple episodes before this that my Spider-Man collection has taken a turn for the worse uh, with the moving company. Um, but we'll get into that in another episode. But anyway, like I said to her, I was like, you know, it's free to get in. I was like, so we're not paying for anything. I was like, we can look around. You never know. And I said to her, I was like, I, I gave her kind of a list of the things that I'm looking for. And I even showed her, like, on, on eBay and, and price guides. I'm like, this is what they're going for. If we can get them anywhere in this range, it's definitely worth it, you know. And, like I said, the weird thing is she is agreeing. She's like, all right, yeah, you know. Because I did the same thing with Amazing Spider-Man 300. We found it for a great deal. And I said to her, I was like, it's really cheap. I was like, it's in great shape. I was like, we have to get it. And she's like, oh, no, yeah, I'm like, dear. I was like, trust me on this. I was like, you know, a lot of people... Uh, in the comic book community, you know, in this community, uh, comic book collectors in general don't have Amazing Spider-Man 300 because it's, it's expensive or, you know, certain things here and there. I'm beyond blessed to have the damn book in my possession. I'm like, oh my god. When I was a kid, that was like one of the holy grails to me. It was like an Amazing Spider-Man 300. And um, I also have the Chrome Edition, which is cool. But, um, like I said with her, like, she she's starting to get it around that sort of thing. Like I said, you know, we got to think about stuff not just now, but way down the line. She's like, oh, we're well, just thinking of it because you like comics and, you know, you want to collect them and everything it works for you. I'm like, yeah, but also it could benefit us down the line as well. You never know. I mean, God forbid, I hope this doesn't come to it, but if I have to sell my collection, at least if I have some, you know, good key issues in there that are in good shape, I have a better chance of pulling my ass out of a hole, you know? Um, which I explained to her because we were kind of discussing that uh, yesterday. Uh, she's like, you know, what if, you know, this, we don't get a job and, and all these things happen. She goes, what are you going to, what are you going to do? 
And um, because quite honestly, not to sound like an evil prick, but um, my fiance really doesn't have many collectibles that she would be able to sell off and, and actually make money off of. Me, on the other hand, I actually do have a lot of collectibles I can sell off and make money off of. Um, but I always tell her the problem is that you, you got to try to get the price you're looking for. I was like, your chances are you're not going to get what it's worth. Um, but if you can come close, or at least a price you're comfortable with, then it's, it's worth it, I guess. But uh, like I said, we were discussing this yesterday because the whole job thing, and we're like, you know, she's just we're going over. She's like, oh, you have to sell your comic books and you know this and that and you know whatever. And I'm just like looking at her like. She was like stabbed me through the chest with a spear. It's like, oh. but you know things happen. I have had to sell comic books in the past that still haunt me to this day. Uh, like I said, I had Amazing Spider-Man number twenty. I think it was the first Scorpion. I had to sell it. I had uh, uh, Iron Man number fifty-five, which is the first Thanos. I had to sell. Um, this is a lot. You know, God, this is when I was in. Uh, I think I was like 22, 21, 22, give or take. So it was like over a decade ago, and it still, still hurts um, that some of these comics, like, you know, how much money they're worth now, and what I sold them for, but, uh, you know, I was in a jam, I had I had absolutely no choice, it was either sell some of the comics or not eat for the rest of my life and probably drop dead, uh, or live under a roof, um, so, you know, things happen, so I know a lot of people agree with, you know, when you're in a bind, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do, it sucks, but... Hopefully they won't come to it. Hopefully we'll get a job soon and I don't have to sell any comics. But, I, like I said, it also works in the thing. I was like, if we go to the show, I was like, I can pick up something, you know, awesome that's that's worth the money. Then later on down the line, if I'm not too attached, let me just sell that one real quick. Anyway, another thing I want to talk about real fast. Um, I hope everyone loves Gizmo. Yeah, it's my new, my new kitty, which he's in some of the videos. Not all, right now he's napping and... He's not pleasant if you wake him up from his sleep, so I'm going to leave him alone. But uh, something I want to talk about is uh, comments and questions and, and, and other things. Uh, <clears throat> I have been trying to answer everything I, I've gotten, like comments. Uh, some people I might have missed, and I'm sorry, just uh, I don't know what's going on. Like I said, YouTube, I don't know what it is. But a lot of my stuff was erased, uh, so I, I thought maybe I, I hope I answered everyone's stuff. If not, I'm... I'm Freaking unbelievably sorry. I've just been hectic and and uh, like I said, sometimes it doesn't even come up on my damn thing. I got to go through every one of my videos to see who commented. Um, and also, again, with YouTube, with their freaking uh, what is that thing? The you know this thing on the side where your favorites, or not favorites, um, subscriptions or whatever it is. You know, the feed. There we go. Feed. <sighs> A lot of people aren't even coming up on that anymore. So it's like it's. I, I've been relying on that, which I can't really do because i got to start typing people's stuff in because it just doesn't come up. So if I haven't watched any of your stuff, that's my fault. I haven't, I've haven't. i been relying on that stupid thing on the side too long. i got to start typing in stuff. Um, I guess, and um, a contest. I'm still thinking of doing the content. Well, not thinking of I'm going to do it. Uh, but like I said, everyone's got to really bear with me because I just don't have the cash to uh, be able to send out the prizes, I guess would it be. Um, but I have decided to have three winners when I do the contest. Um, and the cool thing, I was looking through some stuff, like what to give as prizes. And uh, one of the things like I've, I've told everyone here is that I was going to have uh, this comic book that nobody has. Well, I'm not saying nobody has it, but the possibility of someone in this community actually having it is very rare. Let's put it that way. Um, I looked through them. I thought I only had like two, but it turns out I have a lot more than two. So, uh, I'm going to have three winners when I do my contest, and every one of those winners is going to get one of those comics. So, um, there'll be three, three winners with three of the hard-to-find comics, I guess. Well, not hard-to-find. It's just, it's kind of hard to explain it without giving anything really away. But, like I said, it's nothing major. It's not really a key issue, which I, I guess it could be a key issue because it doesn't really exist in a way. Like, it, it wasn't, like, mass-produced. It's like a one-shot kind of thing. There you go. Um, but it's not like this unbelievably kick-ass comic that, you know, everyone's going to be like, oh my god, I'm so happy to have this in my possession. Uh, maybe you will. I don't know. Maybe you will. Who knows? But it's just, it's a fun comic, I guess, and it can go a long way with certain readers, I guess you can put it that way. Uh, it is a Marvel-based comic. I'll give you that. Um, but like I said, it's nothing, you know, fantastic. It's nothing insane. Um, it's just something that I have a lot of because I worked for the company when they were giving them out 
and like I said, that uh, chances are nobody has it, you know, or if they do, it's I haven't seen them, especially on the community. So every one of the winners is going to get one of those, and another one, another prize that's going to be in one of the things uh, will be this. I'll show you. It's Batman Hush Part One. It's a trade paperback. You can see, it's got you know, let's find a good page there. I'll show you, it's the real thingamaboo and whatnot. Where was that one cool page? Where is that one cool page? Uh, I don't know where that one cool page is. Let's just grab. Haha. -ha. Is that a cool page? Hmm. Yeah, that's right. A couple cool pages. Eh, that'll do. There you go. Batman Hush. There's one of the cool pages. <laughs> but anyway, this is going to be one of the prizes. It's a trade paperback, like I said. It's part... I'm sorry, it's part two. I lied. Part two of uh, Hush. So this is the, the ending one. I was wrong. Alright, so... Part two of Hush. Trade paperback will be in one of the prizes. Along with uh, that comic I was telling you about. So one prize will be the comic and Hush. Another prize will be the comic and something else, and another one will be the comic and something else. Who knows? I've been looking through my comics, uh, the ones that made it, and I found a lot of ones that I could, uh, I'm willing to let go of. So uh, they'll be the prizes, which would be cool. But again, I'm apologizing now because it's not going to be uh, soon. I hope it, maybe it will. I don't know. It depends, it depends on how fast I get a job because uh, I really do need the extra money. Uh, in order to mail it to whoever I'm mailing it to, so, you know, three prizes, you know, it gets expensive, so please, you know, don't get too pissed at me, but bear with me, I will have a contest, I'm going to do it, it's a given, it just depends on when, so uh, just stay tuned for that, and it's only for people who are already subscribed to me, so if I, out of nowhere, come up and say, hey, you know what, the contest is on, if you're not already subscribed to me by that random date, whenever I say the contest is going on, you're out of luck, it's only for the people who have subscribed to me already, uh, it's my way of, like I said, saying thank you, giving back to people uh, that actually stuck around and watched my stuff, which I appreciate. Um, I have been a little, I guess, lax is the word, on uh, getting back on certain things, uh, commenting on videos. I've been watching some videos. I haven't been commenting on a lot, so I apologize. Um, i got to kind of get back into the, the groove of everything, I guess. Sometimes just still hasn't sunk in that I'm in North Carolina now rather than New York. But uh, anyway, yeah, <laughs> losing it. Um, I did see a video. I gotta watch Coast and Brom Stars one because I, I didn't see it. Uh, I watched Hippies, uh, which I think it was yesterday. It, it was over. I gotta take a look at the, if there's a new video up. Um, it was a video that I think Coast and Brom Stars Scott came up with, uh, where you can ask any question you want as long as it's one question, uh, and you know, I'm supposed to whatever you want to know about me. Hey, by all means, if you want to throw me a question or what you want to know about me, go nuts. Bring it on. I'll answer whatever. I'll make a video about it. Um, yeah, but probably limit it to one question because it probably might get out of hand if there's more than one. But, uh, yeah, if you want to do that, anybody wants to know stuff about me, which, who knows, I don't know if there's really much to know about me, but uh, go crazy. Ask me any question you want. I'll write it down and uh, see what happens. And then if I get enough... Uh, well, actually, not if I get enough. Whoever asks a question, I'm going to answer it regardless. But I'll either put it in its own video if there's a lot of questions, or I'll just acknowledge it, the answer in the next video. But anyway, thanks everyone for watching. I really do appreciate it. It, it makes my day to make these videos. I love doing it. And um, hopefully, I'll have some more. Uh, it would be cool if down the line, if I, you know, I'm definitely going to this, this on August 25th. Uh, it just depends on whether I'm going to get anything. But hopefully I'll get something cool down here. Who knows? Maybe I'll get a job before then and I'll actually be able to afford some cool stuff. We'll see. Anyway, uh, thanks again everyone for watching and, and uh, bearing with me with everything. It's just Like I said, everything's uh, a bit of a mess lately. And hopefully the other videos will be up soon. Hopefully today. I don't know. I'm going to try to put as many up as I can. Especially this one. But anyway, thanks again to everyone out there. Community rocks. Still kicks a lot of ass. I'm going to try to watch some more videos. And it's not the size of your man kid that matters. It's what you have in it. Later.